Okay guys, since I got the package tray in, I've got seat belts in now. I'm going to put those in the car probably tomorrow. Started the project of putting door panels back on. Went ahead and put the window strip and quarter window strips in the driver's side of the car. And on the passenger side car of the car, just now getting started. I want to show you how to take these out. They're real simple. There's a couple of plastic tabs and what have you to hold it in but as old as this is it just tears and you can pull all the old stuff out and once you do that take a screwdriver or something there's you can't really see because it's dark out and I've got a canopy cover up but there's going to be old window stripping adhesive in there clean all that out I use a screwdriver and a wire brush uh, it doesn't really affect the chrome trim because it's on the inside so I'm going to get that out and putting it back is simple. Put it right back in the same way it comes out. Just put a little bead of silicone or the uh, weather stripping stuff on the rubber as you put it in. And it snaps up in this track. Uh, here's the reproduction from original parts group. Surprisingly it fit pretty well. This is the part that I was talking about. You'll put your... Uh, Thin seal or thin bead of uh, weather stripping adhesive on it, and then it just pops in and it follows this channel all the way back and goes back into the quarter panel here. Uh, I don't know about three inches or so. It's a little bit left over. Uh, I trimmed mine off. You don't have to if you don't want to. There's plenty of room for it. But I got to do that before I can put the door panel on this side. The uh, door weather stripping comes off tab there's three three plastic tabs on this side there's one up underneath the door panel so you will have to take the door panel off to get that and then the rest of it is plastic tabs which these are old so I'm just going to pull this back and show you what I'm talking about there's those plastic tabs you'll have to pull all these out the kit comes with new ones they're already installed in the rubber stripping so it makes it a little easier and you got a couple of bolts, or not bolts, but screws up in here, like right there, one right there. They're both Phillips, and that's what holds the door stripping on there. The quarter window is real easy. Take some soapy water when you put it back in, but you literally just pull down. Of course, this one's going to be a pain because I got a camera in my hand, but you pull down. And ouch. It slides out of the track. Again, clean the track up. Put some soapy water on the back of your new one and slide it back in. Okay, I'm about halfway done with the uh, passenger side window weather stripping using 3M weather strip adhesive. Literally just putting you know, maybe an eighth inch bead all the way down and then it be kind of hard to do with the camera, but I'm literally just getting it up in the seam a little bit and pushing. And as I push, popping this piece here up into the track, and it'll lock itself in. Kind of have to go over the front and the back to get it to, to go up in there right. But it's that simple. It takes a little finesse hard to do holding the camera but we'll be on the quarter window here in just a second okay installing the door weather stripping I put a little bit of the adhesive just around the uh, opening there put the supplied plastic tabs from the kit in the river and now it's a simple place and push Push all the pins in their appropriate locations, two screws on the other side, and you're done. Okay, I'm pulling the weather stripping off around the trunk. It's simple once you get it to come out of the track a little bit. You can walk it around, it'll come out. Um, as you can see, I do have some gunk and a little bit of surface rust to contend with, so I'll clean that up before I put the new weather stripping in. Okay, I've got the trunk track cleaned out. 
uh, pretty good. Not perfect, but I think it'll work. The uh, trunk weather stripping comes as one piece, but it's split. I guess it allows you to trim it to fit whatever style cutlass you have. As far as installation, I'm just putting a bead, uh, being pretty liberal with it, but being putting a bead of the uh, 3M weather stripping adhesive down. And then when you actually look at your weather stripping, you have this kind of square piece. So what I'm doing is backing that square piece up against the actual track. And once I do that, just pushing it down into the track, and it'll kind of expand back out and look something like that. So far I'm pretty impressed with the overall fit and quality of the kit. Installation is pretty much straightforward. Just pay attention when you take your old weather stripping off. Give you clues as how the new stuff goes on. Okay, I'm just about finished with the trunk weather stripping. This is really the only downfall I've found. It's in the curve of the trunk. Seems like the weather stripping isn't wide enough. Uh, I'm going to let it get a little bit tacky and see if I can't shove it down a little further this way. The only problem with that is, is then it leaves me a gap on this side. So we'll figure that out. And here you can see you've got a good bit of overlap. So once I get that trimmed and get the rest of it put back together, then I'll get the trunk lid put back on. Uh, it'll probably have to be readjusted because of the new weather seals. Uh, kit does also come with a hood cow seal. Um, I'm not going to put that on until I get ready to put the 455 in because there's a few mods that I want to make to the firewall and things of that nature. I want to scrape out the old seam sealer and put new seam sealer in one while I'm in there. So stay tuned. Okay, I've got the door panels off the car again. I'm trying to install this reproduction weather stripping or uh, window fill, I should say. From original parts group it's the true reproduction style I don't really care for it but I'm gonna have to wait till I get some more funds in to purchase the other type see if I like it better this has a flat chrome piece and kind of newer style felts which are a little different from the old ones it's gonna be kind of hard to see because of the Sun but the older ones have a rounded chrome piece and the actual weather stripping is rubber that goes on the top with the new one in place and the window rolled up kind of leaves a weird gap um, if you do choose to install the uh, this type of weather stripping be prepared to have to elongate these holes if yours is a type that has screws in it like mine does you'll have to elongate the holes so that you can get the weather or the actual chrome piece down on the door if you just install it then you got kind of a quarter inch gap between the chrome and the actual paint of the car I guess you could fill that in with some adhesive or something uh, like a caulking but I'm trying to correct that issue. Okay, I've got my holes in the uh, felt strip elongated. They're really close to where I want them to be. Still have a little bit of a gap at the edge where the door meets. Just to waterproof that, I'm going to put a bead, or I have put a bead, of the 3M weather strip adhesive that came with the kit and uh, I'll let you know how it works. Once I get it on I'm going to let it dry overnight and tomorrow I'm going to come out here and spray some water. That is what the finished product looks like. Uh, you can obviously see the difference in the old weather stripping and the new weather stripping. Or, uh, but I think it'll work once I get the rest of it on. It won't look so 
much different. It won't be such such an eyesore. 